Starting from level one in Pixel Gun 3D is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Especially if you've been playing for a very long time because you can take the knowledge that you've gained over the years of playing this game and apply it to a brand new account. All of those mistakes that you previously made, you can correct them on a brand new profile. My name is Pixel Echo and we've started again, yes, again in Pixel Gun 3D. But this time it's going to be very different because this time we're going to be doing it on Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition. And we don't quite have access to ads in order to gain our currencies. So this is going to be a very different experience. Let's see how we do. I've been getting questions like this every single day. I started again on PC. Any tips for progress for coins and diamonds? Referring to gems. The best way I found was the quest that gives 250 and just grind. It's really hard. I'm now in the same situation as you and we're going to try and figure this out together. I do strongly believe the developers do need to figure out a way on how to help PC players be free to play. The problem is if you start on mobile and transfer to PC, you can go back, which means that you can watch all the ads on your phone and then continue to play on the PC version. Currently, if you create your account on PC, you cannot transfer it to mobile. And that is a very big flaw. Well, let's see how we do. I'm a Pixel Gun 3D partner. I have a special link. If you use my link, things are 20% cheaper. If you're free to play and not buying anything, no problem at all. Please use my link and claim your free chest. I'm about to claim my free chest. It's really easy to do. You can do this every single day. You can get gems, coins, boosters, and so much more. But currently, the developers do have a couple of offers happening. So if you do purchase anything, please use my link. I do appreciate it. So we've come back to Pixel Gun 3D, and we have the web store chest. Now, at this point, I'm hoping for boosters. I'm going to be honest with you. That's all I want. So let's see what we end up with here. Fingers crossed it's a booster. It's modules. Not really what I want, but I guess it's an alternative way for me to try and get a couple of modules. And don't forget, you can do this every single day. Now, if you did miss the first video of this, we are currently level four and I have made a couple of purchases. Now, one thing I do want to say is you guys are probably questioning my gems and coins already. So a lot of you probably also got lucky with this as well. If you go to the mailbox, there was an issue with Pixel Gun 3D. They had a DDoS attack. The servers were offline. Everything was a mess. And they granted players 200 coins and also 100 gems. So if you got that, especially as a PC player, this is huge for a brand new account. I've just noticed the developers took away the glitched machine gun from the primary section for new players. It was a legendary primary players could get early on. And it was so good for beginners. And it's gone. Compared to my other free-to-play account, which we only started a couple of months ago, by the way. They've already decided to take it out. That's so scummy. Now, I don't really know the best primary to go for just yet. But what I can say is I don't recommend spending any of your currencies just yet just stick with the combat rifle or you might end up with something slightly different from me this will be okay for a little bit of time as for the backup same applies space blaster i got lucky with this one inside of a chest same with the leader's sword a recommended purchase though reflector as soon as you have enough for this buy it it is special legendary laser ricochet and piercing shots it's probably the best starter weapon that you will have right now and in terms of snipers, again, avoid spending anything until you get to level six. That is the prototype. It is a very good sniper to have. And as for the heavy, well, this is something I'm going to have to wait for until we get a little bit higher. So new players, stick to the task hub, but be smart here. There's a challenge here, heavy and explosive. It wants you to buy a heavy. Don't go wasting your coins and your gems because in return, you only get 10. So unless the weapon you purchase is going to cost you five and you have a profit of five, just avoid this for now. Stick to your daily tasks. You can kind of get a couple of these challenges done at the same time, like defeat five enemies using the scope. 
and playing one match on Nuclear City map. Let's get that one done. Now, remember, most of the time that you start, you're going to be fighting bots. So just take advantage of this because this will very rapidly change and you'll be wishing for bot lobbies. But like I said, this thing is by far the best purchase anyone can make. And if you aim it at the floor, the damage is usually amplified as well. So I'm going to hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There you go. Damage is usually amplified if, if you shoot at the floor. I'm not sure by how much, but definitely so much stronger. There you go. And this is why you make this purchase early on as a free-to-play player. I think it is level four that you actually get it. So I've just about got this. Somebody's close to me there. Hello, good sir. Oh, where's he going? Where's bro going? Hold on. I don't think so. Get rid of you. Hit him once. Once. Don't steal the kills from me. Please. Got him. Hello. Missed. I wish this did have a scope too. But you can see, like, obviously they've made purchases and changed their primary. Grades do matter in Pixel Gun 3D. Holy smokes. That guy's cracking me. Here we go. One more. I need, I need, I need to get some uh, scoped kills, don't I? Scoped kills and score is definitely on my list of things to get here. So let's try and get some of them. Where is he? He's already dead. Hit him once. Bro, he's trying to destroy a card. It's already destroyed. Once. Twice. Seems to be like a two-shot kill so far. Nice. I'm actually not fighting too many bots here, which is a little bit of a surprise. Uh, uh, did he just lock onto me then? That bro was sus. It was definitely sus. It was also not a bad purchase too. Well, not even a purchase. I got lucky with this in uh, inside of a lottery. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Ooh, bro. Come on, man. Missed him. Hey, that's a bot. Take advantage of these kills. Get him with this. Maybe I've got some melee kills to do. Where are you guys? There you are. I'm telling you, this, this primary is actually pretty good for now. I think it's between me and him. He's on 600. I'm on 8. Who are you? Hit him. There you go. One more. Oh. Get me out of there, bro. One more. The only problem with this is it has a massive pullout delay. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't let him. I mean, it is a good primary to have, but it's it's just... I think it's too much of a sacrifice early on to be making. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. I wonder if this counts as a scope kill. Technically is, right? I think I've got to make, like, a ridiculous amount of shots with my sniper, too. I'm so dead here. Oh, we pulled that off. Hey, yo, let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Note to self, don't do that. Three, two, one. No longer a fresh spawn. Oh, wow. Not enough for a kill, huh? I missed him. Ah. We got the win, though, nonetheless. 23 kills. That's where you're getting your keys. Do you usually get four on mobile? I can't fully remember. But obviously, just playing games is going to be the best way for you to make your currencies. Two of the challenges done straight away. Get into a game today. That's done. And then we've also done defeat five enemies with a scope and ironically enough though play one match on nuclear city has not actually registered i think it might actually need to be a team fight a few moments later let's see if the team deathmatch actually registers 20 kills we did all right there also first time match as well so you get double the xp we've also got enough to open some chests which i think are going to be really important here this is currently the best way for us to get our currencies. That's quite a lot of coins, though. Look at the coins to gem ratio, though. One thing you'll learn in Pixel Gun 3D is coins aren't worth niche <laughs> compared to your gems. But let's see if that one was actually registered. Yeah, I mean, they should probably outline that, but that's Pixel Gun for you. Uh, we also need to go and capture some points. And also, again, just keep it getting as much deathmatch score and sniper shots. This currency right here, Pixel Pass tickets, the most valuable currency in this game and the hardest to get. Ah, okay. I've also just noticed if you go ahead and follow them on social media, you will be given all of these gems. So make sure you do it. Ain't nobody saying no to a free 75 gems. I completely forgot about that. So I've got quite a lot. I just need to get myself to level six at this point. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wasn't expecting this many players early on. Like, I've come in contact with so many actual players and not bots. 
I kind of like it though. It's a it's a really good experiment. I'm so dead by that gadget. Yeah, yeah. Then we got a ricochet kill in there. That would have been a nice kill. That one. Hit once. Oh, we got it. Hit him again. There we go. Got the revenge. Come on. Oh, we doing all right, boys. There's a dude up top somewhere. Hit him once. Come on. Oh. oh. But again, some of the weapons in here are very questionable. Like, some dude's got like a lot of the van weapons early on. I mean, he possibly could have purchased stuff. People do, I guess. I guess you're going to start seeing that more often now, right? It's going to be a lot more deals and a lot more players to do it. Here we go. Oh, he's got a prototype. Not going to beat that thing, am I? Try a delay, though. You guys notice the delays on kills. You get a kill and then it, it won't register for a while. Missed. I don't know what he's hitting me with. Tell you what, we're going to lose right at the end here. Right at the end. Come on. I need one more kill, maybe. Oh, no. We lost right at the end, bro. The fact that I'm coming up against second life vacuums in, like, my second or third matches is absolutely insane, dude. This is why I like the beginning of Pixel Gun 3D. Just because it's slower paced. Not everyone's moving 900 miles an hour, you know? It's just, it's just a, a much better experience. We need them to go and capture B. They're doing it. I've already captured C, so that's not a bad start. Ooh, he's got the prototype. Nice. My guy knows. I think a lot of players will pick it up relatively easy, though, on what's, what's good and what's not good. Listen, here we go. I need this. Get this in the bag. The thing is, they spawn down there, bro, so they will come very quickly. I'm going to get rid of this so we don't get exploded. What else are they capturing? They're capturing C. To be fair, I don't mind if they have that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't even know if I was involved in that. I think I was. Hit him once. Oh, okay. I've seen a lot of people use an impulse early on. Of a prototype. Very unexpected. Oh, and the ranger. Listen, man. I'm not going to let you sneak around the back of my team. Where'd you think you going, chief? I don't think so. I think I definitely need to get one more capture just to be sure here. Just to be sure. Come on. There we go. I'm going to grenade this. There we go. Grenade's not going to be enough to kill him, though. they are going to capture it back, boys. Come on. Oh, we got it. <gasps> Come on, teammates. We, we do it all right. We got to get straight in there. That's where we got to get it. That's where they spawn. That's captured. I think I might have this in the bag. I, I'll go and catch a B just to, just to double make sure here. They're already on there. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. What melee, he, what melee has he got? He's moving way faster than me, bro. Nobody there, though. We're doing okay. We should get this, this challenge done. That's going to be all of the dailies done. The thing is, like, after this, now it's like, what do I do? What do we do once you've done it? Because there isn't really much, too much you can do. Yes. Although I've got this as daily and I think it's done, I still think I'm going to have calendar challenges and regular challenges I need to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Not enough for a kill. I got one of them. Impulse has been absolutely destroying me, hasn't it? Easily, too. I see you, bro. Not enough for a kill. Some of these guys have got some half-decent armor. Not amazing, but it's a good starter armor. He's already dead. Catch this back. Oh. I actually didn't even see that guy at first. He's already dead. Assist. All right. So, good start. Little cheeky win right there. Half decent kills. Alrighty. I need to just get to level six. That's literally my goal right now. First time experience rewards. 30 XP. Coins, keys, and pass. Well, at least all of these are done. So I'll definitely claim these. I can't watch and add the double the rewards on this one. But my coins are definitely going up. And definitely my gems too. Thing is, like I said, at this point, you're bored now. You just best, best off getting off Pixel Gun 3D. And then coming back. If I get a booster, I'm not going to use it, though, till the next episode. Oh, it's a free upgrade for a special. Hmm. Not bad, actually. Especially since the special is by far my best weapon right now. All right. We finally made it to level 6. 140 coins and 5 gems. Let's get out of there. Double back-to-back -back wins for that as well. So let's see where we currently sit. Because this is like, a, like an hour and a half worth of grinding. We do have access to clans now as well. Which I am going to have to take advantage of this. Can you not set this like worldwide or something? 
think you previously used to be able to. Anyway, let's go to uh, lottery. We have 38 that we can spend. Let's claim this, though, because we've done this. Let's claim all of these. Let's go. The only one I didn't get the chance to do was this one, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. That's going to change very soon. But challenges, man. I got boosters now. So that's going to be really useful. Yo, this is going to rank up my pass relatively quickly then. Surely. This is why I like the end of a season. It's not so great for a new profile, but it, uh, sorry for like a, a new person who wants to buy the pixel pass. But for anybody else, man, you complete so many challenges. Like a lot of them are repetitive as well. Like the legendary kills. It's a really standard one. Get 15 kills, a legendary weapon. Let's go to sniper ones. Take first place. Bro, we went from level 17 to 22 in the pass. We're going to have a couple of free rewards here. So that's nice. I think the biggest struggle is probably going to be the pixel pass. Like getting a pixel pass can be so difficult. Because there's no valid way to get it. So, but I'll, look at these. Look at these things. We definitely take advantage of these things. This. Uh, collect. 100% boosters i mean that's not great at least at least we can get a couple of free rewards here that's not too bad there either that's nice to see um let's go to the lottery let's do some tens though because if we can get a weapon inside of here bro i'll be happy uh parts for that i mean i gotta is it better than what i've got it might be let's do another two revolver i think i had another crafting one too Ooh, gems all right also, the poison darts. Really good thing to get. So, I got to grind for that. We did see a lot of people with the impulse sniper rifle. It does seem to be a relatively good purchase. However, I would wait out for the prototype. It might only be epic graded, but this will definitely outlast this the higher you get. So, stick with this. I'll do my best to help you guys. I think the problem I might have is going to be the heavy category. I might just get the toy bomber for now. Considering it's only 90 coins and we've got 600 plus. And then if we get lucky and we're able to craft a better prime rate from the lottery, that would be great. If not, we're going to have to wait until we get a little bit higher of a rank. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We now have access to the trader's van, so this could be an alternative method. I know the uh, I know the ink spray is actually pretty good, but we definitely don't currently have the gems for that kind of thing. I'll see you all in the next episode.